Hey everybody, Rusty reporting in from the first St. Mark's BPSA Otter Scout Troop here in Sussex Corner, New Brunswick. And today we're going to be talking about an insect that you've probably heard a lot, but have never actually seen up close. We're going to be talking about the summer screamer itself, the cicada. The word cicada gets its roots from the grandfather of all languages, Latin. It translates directly to tree cricket. Cicadas bear this name because of their similarities to the chirping of crickets and the location where they make their world-famous sound. Cicadas have a very interesting life cycle. Some will live underground for 17 years before they emerge from the depths, climb a tree, and then just start screaming. These are called periodical cicadas. They'll only live for about a week or two after they emerge from the ground and can lay up to 600 eggs. This means that every year there will be a new generation of cicadas to emerge. The more common cicada for our part is called the annual cicada, the most common of which being the dog day cicada, which usually starts to sing around the end of summer. The term dog day comes from the ancient Romans. They called the dog days of the summer the warmest days of the season, and they gave it this name because you could usually see the Sirius star up above in the sky, Sirius being the dog star. Once the cicada emerges, they will climb a tree and start to make their deafening trill. This is achieved through rapid flexing of their muscles that create different vibrations through their wings. They make this sound to attract females and to ward off predators. They can be extremely noisy, almost like they're screaming. The life cycle of the cicada may seem kind of confusing, and we are anything but confusing here at Nature with Rusty. So let's see if this helps. That might have just made things a little more confusing. I hope you learned something about the cicada. Until next time, Rusty out. <laughs>